Zion, road to Zion, 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 road to Zion. Cars, trucks, SUVs, even diesel tags. Best mechanic on the planet, ain't no need to scratch. Every issue with that like a line. Got a problem and D will find it. Pop the hood, we gon' get up inside it. Fix it up, start it up, and then drive it. Brakes, rotors, motors, on a mission to fix the transmission. If it's tainted, then we can replace it. Difficult all the way to the basics. Diagnose like a doctor to patient. Have no worries, relax and be patient. You can leave, go and take a vacation. In the hands of the best of the nation. Got that fix, baby, watch how we cook up. And we mobile, you know we can pull up. Get the mobile if you need the hook up. Hey, you right by the time that you look up. Facts. Facts. It's your boy Wade Road, man. You already know how them boys coming, man. Shout out to everybody over there at Road Design. If you need mechanical work. What's up, Team Road to Zion? We back. Another day in the life of the Road to Zion mobile mechanic. So, today I'm going to be working on a um, Ford Taurus. Let me see what year the vehicle is right now. I believe it's a 2008. Let me double check. Oh, it's a 2012 Ford Taurus. I'm going to be installing a blower motor. Customer... Uh, just got the blower motor in today. Let me uh, flip the camera around and show you how the new blower motor. So we got the new blower motor in right now. I'm gonna uh, walk y'all through the process of taking out the old one and repairing the new one. The blower motor is actually located underneath the um, passenger side dashboard. So stay tuned for the repair. Let's go. All right, Team Road Design, so it has an access cover which is this little black cover right here to access the blower motor. It's held in by uh, three seven millimeter bolts. Get that out the way. So now we should be able to uh, see the blower motor right there. On this blower motor, we have to uh, disconnect the electrical harness, take out the six millimeter, we should be able to spin the whole blower motor assembly and get it out. It's a quick and easy repair, none too major, some slight, but uh, this is the process of doing it. Uh, show you guys how I took it out uh, after I get it out and what I'm going, the procedure to install it. Stay tuned, well design, y'all. Let's go, man. So this is something that anybody can do at the house. If you have a basic set of hand tools, um, they already had it previously diagnosed, so I didn't have to come and diagnose. I'm just replacing a part today. Stay tuned, Road Designer. So here we have the old blower motor, and this is the new one. Uh, it's going to be a little cap that goes over the blower motor like this. It's going to be an um, 8 millimeter bolt that holds it in. Once you remove the bolt, you can actually take this cap off like this, and you will spin it counterclockwise to take it out. So I'm getting ready to uh, start the new one. Let me try to get some footage of how I can, how the install procedure goes. So you get it in there like this, and then you spin it and locks it in just like that. Uh, before I go ahead and, you know, uh, bolt it down, I am going to test the blower motor. So I'll plug it in this electric connector. To disconnect the electric connector, it has a tab on it right here on the front side. You press that tab in and you can squeeze down on the side right here and pull it out. Connect it and just snap it in in place. Make sure it's good. Um, you do have a picked, a little plastic pigtail that goes right here. I moved it out the way so that way the harness wouldn't be uh, blocking me. So now I got the new one there. I'm gonna start up the vehicle and um, Test it out and make sure it's working. Stay tuned, Road Design. So I got the blower motor running. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, let me cut down the fan. See if you guys can hear it. So I got it in. Um, looking over the old blower motor, it just seems to have been dirty and that the motor actually was failed. So the repair is fixed, guys. Um, I'm going to go look at that battery as well and check the alternator. I had to jump the vehicle off. Uh, looks like it's an old battery, but I'm going to test the battery, and then I'm also going to test out the alternator. And then I'll give you guys, uh, show you guys the footage of it actually uh, 
putting the cover back on so you guys can know it's really simple. Uh, repair process takes about five to 10 minutes. Uh, the basic hand tools that you need is a um, 16 millimeter, no, uh, seven millimeter socket and an eight millimeter socket. I use the three inch ratchet and you know, we'll need a short extension and a long extension as well. Cause the bolt to hold the cover on in the back is a deep hole and you need a long extension to get in there. So you just take your basic hand tools guys and uh, go ahead and replace the part. Uh, I wish I could have taken you guys through diagnosing it, but um, the customer already has someone else look at the vehicle and uh, diagnose it. They just called me out here to do the replacement of the part. So stay tuned, uh, Road to Zion. We back in full effect. Many hands make light work. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more repairs. Like, hit the comment button, hit the bell notification. If you guys uh, have any requests that you would like to sh me to show on my channel as far as uh, automotive repairs, pan and body repairs, diesel repairs, diagnostics, uh, go ahead and drop some comments, man, so I can know what you guys are looking for. And I can try to get those jobs lined up so where I can get footage and take you through the process of how to repair. Thanks again. All right, team. So to bow down the compressor, we're going to put this little bracket I was telling you about. It just slides in place like that. Boom. Then you're going to take the 8 millimeter bolt. You're going to uh, bolt it in right there. Take the ratchet. And then go ahead and slide it down. Real simple. I got coarse threads on the bolt because you're bolting it into plastic. So hold on one second, let me bolt it in. Oh, now we have it secured. I'm gonna make sure you put this plastic tip back in place. And um, the next thing we're gonna do is, we wanna get the cover in here. So to get the cover in here, you just slide it back past. That blower motor has an alignment pin right there. You line it up. And then you put the bolt in right here, put the bolt in right here, and one in the back. And I was telling you right here that you're going to need with the extension. Stay tuned. So to install the cover, guys, you're just going to have to slide it back here past the blower motor. It has a uh, alignment tab right here. Let's put that in place. It'll kind of hold itself. Uh, So what I did was I put the, the nut on the extension on top of the socket and I just started it with my hand. It's kind of hand tightening now, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down. Uh, this is the best way I've seen to be able to get that bolt in the hole and line it up without uh, taking all day. So everything's in there nice and snug. And that road to Zion is how you guys replace a blower motor in a 2012 Ford Taurus. Let's get it.